Back in June, SAP announced that they were going to acquire WalkMe, a competitive product. At the time, I provided a video explaining what I thought was going to happen with WalkMe versus SAP Companion, the component of SAP Enable now that does largely the same thing. The, that deal was finalized in September. So now WalkMe, the company, is officially no more and it has been bought by SAP. And WalkMe, the product, is now an SAP product. So given that that happened very recently, I thought I'd give an update on where I think things are going, specifically how WalkMe and the acquisition of it is going to impact SAP Enable Now and how that product continues. So long story short, I think there's going to be three separate products coming out of this combination of WalkMe and SAP Enable Now. And they are going to be an in-app help solution, a courseware solution for building um, self-paced learning, e-learnings, that kind of stuff, and an analytics option as well. And I think there will be three separate products available to purchase independently of each other or all together, or any combination of those. So let's look at those in detail. The first one, the in-application help. Now, SAP Enable Now already has the component SAP Companion, which provides in-application help. It's what SAP referred to as their EPSS, Electronic Performance Support Solution. And that provides help within, uh, within Fiori-based SAP applications, the main one being S4 HANA, but also for SAC, for IBP, for Success Factors, Ariba, Concur, a whole bunch of other products, SAP products. So WalkMe provides a similar capability, but for any browser-based application. It uses a different technology to provide it, um, but any third-party non-SAP browser-based application, you can use WalkMe to provide similar type of in-application help. And WalkMe, the company, would refer to WalkMe, the product, as a DAP, a digital adoption platform. Same thing, it's really providing help overlaid on the application at the time of its use, so not really training. Now, clearly, SAP is not going to maintain two of these products if they do basically exactly the same thing. So something's going to have to give there. Now, given that SAP has started talking more about a digital adoption platform and less about an EPSS, kind of implies that they're leaning towards WalkMe being the solution that comes out of this. If they merge both of these products or kill one and only maintain one, it's probably going to be WalkMe. I think that's a fairly safe assumption given that WalkMe has a broader capability than SAP Companion. SAP Companion, Fiori-based applications, WalkMe, anything that runs in the browser. Now, um, I think that's generally going to be the case, but there are a lot of complications to that. Mainly, um, SAP Companion, SAP's existing product, the part of SAP Enable Now that provides in-application help for SAP products, integrates with those SAP products, such as S4, much more effectively than WalkMe can. Because SAP Companion was built by SAP for SAP. It actually grew out of a product called X-Ray, which is an internal product that SAP had when they were building Fiori screens so they could kind of like look inside them, hence the X-Ray name, see how they were built and build the help around that. So that's a very, very well integrated with SAP's products and it would be a shame to lose that. SAP have said that they, they are looking at a way of migrating SAP companion content into WalkMe if they can. So that would mean that all of that stuff that exists at the moment with customers and SAP's pre-built help content, of which there's a lot, could be migrated into WalkMe. WalkMe becomes the offering and everyone's happy. But that integration or that migration of content might not be as straightforward as SAP think. I don't think there's a clear path yet to take um, SAP companion projects, guided tours, help tiles, and move that to WalkMe. They're very different technologies, and it might not be as easy as just doing an export out of um, SAP Companion and an import into WalkMe. That capability doesn't exist yet. The other complication is, if that doesn't happen, is that SAP has a lot of pre-built content available for its um, Fiori-based applications. There's something incredible, like 200,000 hotspots that have been built into the various SAP screens, 
and a lot less guided tours which walk you through step by step what to do but they already exist there's a couple of hundred maybe maybe slightly more across all the products but not as many um, and if SAP can't move all of that easily from SAP Companion to Walk Me, it's going to have to be left in SAP Companion. And I don't think they're just going to axe everything because they need to provide help on their own systems. SAP Companion is to Fiori what F1 Help was to ECC6. You've kind of got to have it there. So we might see a situation where SAP keeps SAP Companion around just for its own in-application help. But if you as a customer of, of SAP or of S4 want to provide your own help, that has to be done via WalkMe or the WalkMe technology, whatever it's rebranded as, which would work as a solution. But the problem I see with that is that at the moment you can take that pre-built SAP companion standard content and change it, selectively change bits of it, add to the wording, swap some words out, whatever else. Just use what's there at the moment, change it to use it as custom content. And clearly that's not going to work if the standard content is all SAP Companion and all of the custom content is WalkMe. Can you have both of those things running at once on your system? Possibly. Um, would SAP force you to choose one or the other? I don't know. Um, so I think there's still some things to work out there um, on how that's going to unfold and what's really going to win the day. I do think it will probably be Walk Me again because it's got a greater scope, but I don't think we're necessarily going to lose the existing SAP Companion content from SAP. Maybe SAP won't find a way to migrate it to Walk Me, but they'll find a way to expose it to Walk Me so Walk Me can pull that in somehow. So a lot to decide there, but ultimately I think that's going to be the first product we're going to see out of this. A digital adoption platform, what was EPSS, in application help basically. That's going to be an offering that you can purchase from SAP. Just like you can purchase SAP Companion, at the, well SAP Enable Now including SAP Companion. But that brings us to the second product that I think we're going to see out of this. I think we're going to see... SAP Companion capabilities in SAP Enable now have hived off into a separate product and that will leave in SAP Enable now the courseware capabilities and specifically that simulations and building presentations using books and book pages whether that's for instructor-led training which is adequate or for self-paced learning e-learnings, web-based training, whatever you call them, where the user is going through the training module on their own in their own time, so not instructor-led. Um, simulations are a very large part of SAP Enable Now's capabilities and its user base. I think something like maybe 80% of the customers who have SAP Enable Now don't even switch on SAP Companion. Even if they've got S4 systems, they're not really as interested in the in-app help. They'll just use the standard content. What they really want is to build simulations to replace the need for a training environment so that they can get users to practice in the system before actually letting them loose into the production system. So um, simulations are a very key part of SAP Enable now. Courseware is even better, and it's very, very good for building those e-learnings, but it's not used as much. Um, clients that I go into, simulations, yes, broad use of those. The e-learning stuff, not so much. It's got great capabilities, but the learning curve is slightly higher for that. So I think there's definitely a market for that. Now, um, as far as WalkMe goes, WalkMe does not have those capabilities. You can't create simulations, you can't create courseware. Now, the WalkMe company was starting to look into that area and thinking about building out those capabilities within WalkMe as a product. Now that's going to stop because SAP Enable Now already does that and WalkMe is now a part of SAP. So there's no point in continuing development of a competing platform. So anything that was going on in the WalkMe um, area there, which never made it to public release at all, is not going to happen now because we have those capabilities in SAP Enable now, and I think those will continue as a separate product. So this is the second product I think we're gonna come out of that, is the ability to build courseware and specifically e-learnings. 
And the good news in all of this is that those capabilities have been more or less neglected by SAP's developers for several years, or SAP Enable Now's developers. Um, simulations are pretty much the same now as they were eight years ago when it was Datango. Not a lot has happened there. A couple of minor tweaks, but the base functionality is still the same. Same with the books and book pages. There's been a few nice features. Um, Text-to-speech has been great. Um, dynamic translation of content's been nice. But the core functionality, the, the object types that you can put on a book page, that has not really changed in probably as long, at least five years, since there's been significant development there. Now I think we will see some more development in there now that SAP's developers and the WalkMe developers, who are there are many more of them that have now been brought into SAP, they are going to be now free to build out that courseware side of things. So I think we're going to see more functionality being put into it to make it more similar to Storyline or Presenter or something like that. Now my prayer to the SAP developers is that they put into SAP Enable Now courseware capabilities everything that Articulate 360 can do. Because every customer that I go into, they're using Articulate 360 to build their e-learnings. Because you take it from a PowerPoint, which anyone can build a PowerPoint to varying degrees of effectiveness, but the PowerPoint just gets fed into Articulate 360 and you've got an e-learning. There's some extra bells and whistles, but it's very easy to do. I would like to see SAP Enable now be in being a true easy replacement for Articulate 360. I think SAP have definitely got some inroads into the industry there. So I think we will hopefully see some good development on that and see it become a more robust platform. But again, I think that will be a separate product. So we've got the in-app help, the DAP. We've got the courseware component, which is really what's left of SAP Enable now once you split out SAP Companion. And I think those two products you can buy separately. Again, not all customers that use the simulations want the in-application help. There are customers that just want the in-application help and don't use the courseware stuff because they've got Articulate or something else like that. So that's the second component. Now, the third component is something that's really unique to WalkMe. And personally, I think is the main reason why SAP bought out WalkMe, apart from to kill a competitor in the DAP area, that first product. So S SAP Enable Now provides fairly rudimentary reporting. It's got better over the past few releases, and you can see what screens people are pulling up the help from, which help topics are being used the most, uh, which guided tours are being used, how far someone gets through a guided tour before abandoning it, or whether they complete that guided tour. But it's fairly, fairly basic. And those reports are coming out of Manager. You can see them at the moment. But what WalkMe provides is a much more robust capability. It sits basically on top of the application and tracks exactly what the user's doing, what screens they're on, what fields they're filling in, and most importantly, when they're making mistakes. So is an error message or a warning message being displayed on the screen? Are they stuck on a particular screen? Where are they pulling up that help? Um, where they need additional guidance? And it does a much, much better job of that than SAP Companion can, or SAP Enable Now can report on from SAP Companion. It's a much more robust solution, and it provides a much easier way of identifying actionable things coming out of these metrics. You know, where do users need help? Do we need to provide more in-app help? Do we need to provide more training for this? And that component does not actually require the in-app help side of things. If you can, you can use the analytics components separately, put it on whatever browser-based application you've got, whether that's S4, the SAP product, or it is um, something else like Salesforce or whatever, and it will analyze what's going on and try and identify problem areas so that you can then go and act on those. So you can buy this product separately, or you can use it separately from the rest of the WalkMe components or SAP Enable Now components. And I think that's going to be our third product here. We're going to see that analytics capability or user monitoring slash analytics. If you're familiar with NOAA, it provides a lot of the same functionality as that does in truly watching what people are doing, where they're struggling, and then giving you insights that you can action on. So I think we'll end up with that as a third product that you can buy independently of the other ones. 
So we've got the in-application help, we've got the courseware component, and we've got the analytics component. And I think we'll see separate SKUs for each of those that you can go to SAP and say, I want to buy one or two or even all three of those as independent products. So I think that's how things are going to shape out with the state of play at the moment with WalkMe and SAP Enable Now and the overlap that they have, which is really just on that in-application help component. They, they both provide that, but only SAP Companion provides the courseware. Only WalkMe really provides that analytics capabilities. So I think that those two parts, the courseware and the analytics capabilities, are fairly clean cut the way they are at the moment. The real question is the in-application help and how they're going to merge the WalkMe component and SAP Companion. So that's where I think we are. In terms of pricing, no idea. Is SAP going to provide all three of those components at a comparable price to SAP Enable Now at the moment? Or are they going to price them all independently? I don't know. Um, I do know that the WalkMe model is priced basically per application. You want WalkMe on Salesforce, it's going to cost you this. You want WalkMe on S4 as well, then you have to pay for that separately. And you're pay basically paying per application. SAP don't do it that way. You buy a license to SAP Enable now, you can use that in-app help on as many products as you like or none of those products. You can just build simulations and don't care about the in-application help, all for one price. The licensing is fairly static there. So um, I think that we'll probably still see the SAP pricing model and phase out the WalkMe per application model. But what those pricing levels will be, I've got no idea. Last point, timing. When is this likely to happen? I think we'll see those three products announced as future capabilities or on the, um, on the roadmap very, very soon. I think it's fairly clear that we will see three separate products. And the SAP Enable Now courseware component and the WalkMe Analytics components, I think as soon as a clean cut can be made with those and they can be bundled as independent products, I think they will hit the marketplace reasonably soon. The WalkMe versus SAP Companion in application help, I think there's a lot more to think about there and a lot more that SAP needs to figure out the technicalities of how it's going to work. Personally, I don't expect to see a single EPSS slash DAP solution for in-application help before maybe early 2026, which is over a year away from now, 18 months maybe. Um, I think at that point we'll see a single solution or we'll start to see one, but I, I really don't expect it to happen any time sooner than that. I think at the moment you'll see SAP Enable Now still as a product and you'll see WalkMe as a product, but now branded as an SAP product. Whether it's WalkMe by SAP or SAP WalkMe, I don't know, or they choose another name, but I think we will still see those two competing products, um, but they're both sold by SAP. Going forward again into 2026, there will probably only be one DAP product, but that's probably about as close as I can guess at the moment. So that's my thoughts on SAP Enable Now versus WalkMe and how things are going to shake out given that acquisition of WalkMe by SAP. This is whatever inside information I can gather, some unsubstantiated conjecture, um, just thinking about what's logical. Um, and I think I'm probably right and we're going to get these three products. Timing may change a bit, but that's the current state of play. As I get more information, I will happily share it. Hope you found that useful for your ongoing planning. Thank you.